Welcome to another mp4nation.net video and review. Today I'm going to show you this new tablet. Uh, it goes by many names on the internet. Uh, the HeroTab C8, the DropPad 8 or 2 or whatever. <laughs> Basically it's the generic uh, capacitive touchscreen, 7 inch capacitive touchscreen uh, tablet that uses a Samsung uh, Cortex A8 processor, the S5PV210 that uh, clocks in at uh, or says it clocks in at 1.2 gigahertz. Uh, it's actually a very nice tablet. Uh, I mean, considering it's a generic tablet, um, uh, it's actually really well built. I mean, this is a metal frame around. It feels nice. The capacitive touchscreen is really, really responsive. Uh, I have to say, this is, you know, it's very nice. Uh, it's very comparable even to a midnight. However, this is a generic, and uh, you know, if you, it looks nice from a distance. It's the hardware is beautiful. Uh, don't get me wrong; the you know the touchscreen response is wonderful. Same with the performance of the processor. But when you get close to the actual body, you can realize why this is a generic. Uh, you find little blemishes here and there, you know, little nicks, scratches, and stuff. And, you know, we've checked our inventory, and some are immaculate, some have this, and really it's how the factory produces them. It's too expensive for them to go back and change anything that has small cosmetic damage when it comes off the production line. I mean, you can tell they also cut corners even on the paint. I don't know if you can see on my hand, but <laughs> whatever they're using for the back paint does come off, even when you remove the plastic wrapping that comes on. As you can see, it comes off. Uh, so, as nice as this tablet is, and it's not cheap either, uh, you can tell that it is generic and it does differ in quality. At least in the exterior build, uh, you can find little things where they did cut corners. But overall, I would give the build quality on this a 7 out of 10, which for generic is pretty damn high. Uh, and I've seen some really, really utter crap <laughs> come, come on my desk. Uh, but this, I have to say, is uh, if you look past those small blemishes and stuff, uh, it's actually a really nice tablet. Uh, surprising, actually. Uh, so here you have it. It runs Android 2.2, and as, as I said, it has a 7-inch capacitive touchscreen, so it does have multi-touch, uh, which I'll show you in a little bit. It also has Flash 10.1, which... I will say works better on this than it does on the Midnight, which actually doesn't say a lot because even the flash on this and actually in general flash on Android uh, right now isn't very good. It's not very well implemented. So I will demonstrate flash on this for you, but uh, don't expect to be uh, overly impressed, but it does work. So it has all your standard function. It has, it's using your standard Android 2.2 layout. Uh, let me just go to settings to show you that it is, in fact... 2.2, there you go. Uh, let's go back. Uh, and really, it's very smooth. That's the number one thing you find right away about this, just how nice it is. Uh, actually, I wanted to show you. Let's go to Google Maps here. And this all loads really fast. And let's show you the multi touch. Ooh, I think I zoomed in a little too far there. But let's bring up Street View. There you go. Sunny Hong Kong, somewhere in Causa Bay. See, it loads really, really fast. And that's what I really like about this this uh, tablet. It's it's really snappy. Uh, it's as fast as our uh, midnight. Keep going. Anyway, you get the point. Those of you who have used uh, Google Maps on an Android tablet will know how exactly this works. Uh, quite useful. But remember, if you're using Google Maps, you have to have an active Wi-Fi connection to actually utilize it. Uh, let's check out the web browser. Ooh, did not. There we go. This is old, good old BBC, so let's go back to the main page. Uh, web pages on this load really fast, too. Uh, and as you see, right now I have a very low Wi-Fi connectivity. Oh, I just improved just there. I don't know when you're watching this, but right now the entire Middle East is going up in revolution. Uh, so let's go check out some stuff on Gaddafi. So here we'll see uh, Flash 
play as it loads. As I said, you know, it, it does work. The Flash 10.1 on this is better implemented than on our, our Midnight, but you shouldn't expect even too much out of that. Uh, Flash works decently well, let's say. Let's go full screen. Uh, and, and as you probably realize, it has a speaker, it's quite loud. And we do have to sit through this uh, advert, but I mean, even in this advert, you get an idea of how well Flash works on this. Let up. Let the next video load up. There we go. There have been continuing reports of violence and the indiscriminate the use of force. The mm -hmm. I guess it's buffering. There we go. Indicate that more than 1,000 people have been killed. Anyway, you get an idea of how this works. It does work better when it's in the, not in full screen and you haven't touched the screen actually. There you go. And like anything to do with Android, the task manager will be your best friend, so kill all. So let me give you a little bit more of the hardware specs here. It does have 4 GB of internal memory, 512 MB RAM. It does have a front-facing camera, 1.3 megapixel camera. I uh, wouldn't be surprised if it's not that great. I haven't personally tested it out. I don't really care for cameras that much on uh, these type of tablets. I think it's more of a bell and whistle than it is something that's functional. Uh, and obviously it has a built-in G sensor. It works 360 degrees. Uh, it doesn't have Android Marketplace built in right away, but there are custom ROMs out there for this already which have uh, Android Marketplace and I have to note that MP4 Nation itself will not support you in how to load these custom ROMs. You can find guides online on how to do it but uh, we will only support you in like the general usage of this tablet, turning it on, setting up your Wi-Fi uh, and such. We can't really help you in depth. I mean Android is an operating system like uh, what you have on your PC. It can do a lot of stuff. So if you're not completely familiar with Android you may have trouble using this only because Android will be a foreign um, operating system to you that you have to get used to and uh, the best way to do that is trial by error and reading guides online we will also support you know after warranty after sales warranty and stuff like that so you don't have to worry about that if this thing starts cocking up send it back to us and we'll fix it for you and we'll send it right back uh, it does have Wi-Fi obviously it does on the side have a HDMI port so you can connect to your TV. Uh, it does have USB host and USB OTG uh, and you have your power slot and your earphone slot down there as well as hardware buttons up there. Go around. Oh, it does have also your micro SD slot which I have there going on right now. And uh, I mean games work, Angry Birds uh, and stuff that you can put on it. Actually works pretty well on this too. Anyway, this is so far an unnamed tablet for us, but uh, it is a 7 inch capacitive Samsung A8 Cortex tablet. Uh, it's pretty impressive, it's nice, but remember it is generic. Uh, but I think as far as generic tablets go that are utilizing this type of hardware, this is a solid tablet. Uh, I do recommend it if you're looking for something like this. So there you have it. Anyways, head on over to mp4nation.net to check this out or head on over to our forums to discuss this. Thank you.